So there's a few reasons that you might have to replace your accelerator pedal sensor. Now most of the time you can't just replace the sensor, you just replace the sensor and the pedal, it all comes in one unit. Sometimes you can get the sensor by itself, but most of the time it comes with the pedal also. There's a few things that leads you up to thinking that there's a possibility that your accelerator pedal sensor is bad. One thing in the problem that I am having is that I have a dead spot in my pedal. I can push it down about an inch or so before it um, starts to accelerate. So uh, there's a gap there, which means that either the sensor's bad or the pedal itself and the connections are getting loose. I'm actually doing this on a 2013 Volkswagen Touareg, uh, but the same process and will pertain to any other vehicle that you are changing, so it doesn't have to just be a Volkswagen Touareg. Um, this will apply to all vehicles. All right, so as you can see right here, we have, you can see that I can push this all the way down before it hits and accelerates. So that's why we're gonna replace this. Okay, so as you can see on the pedal here, uh, depending on your vehicle, but this one here just has two bolts at the top, one bolt at the bottom, and then the sensor plug right here. So right up underneath here, it's nice that they have a light up underneath here, but there's two bolts right here, and it looks like we're gonna have to do, move, remove a panel to get to the rest of this. So we had to drop down this panel right here underneath. And so the next thing that we are gonna actually do is we have to disconnect the OBD2 port and this light right here to be able to drop this piece the rest of the way off to get it up out of the way. So you can see up in there where the pedal's at um, right back here. And that's what we're gonna replace. So to get to that, we gotta get all this stuff out of the way. So the next thing we want to do is we want to disconnect the battery so that there's no power going through there and it will help to reset the computer with the sensor in the new pedal. Okay, so in uh, this application, so we needed to use a T30 to get those bolts out, which you can see right here. So that's what we had to take out of there. Um, and can see what it looks like up underneath here so now it's missing this your connector is up in here and we'll reconnect that whenever we put the new one in um, but that's kind of what that looks like up in there now and it's pretty simple I mean it's kind of a pain to get to but it was pretty simple it's just three bolts and unclip the sensor plug and pull it out so now I am gonna install the new one and hopefully that fixes our issue. Okay guys, we got it all finished up. Oh, well, you can see there's our new pedal and everything's all buttoned back up. Got the panel replaced. Hopefully this fixes our issue and we're gonna try it out here in just a second. So one other thing that happens is um, Every car has a accelerator pedal sensor reset and each one is individual. So you will have to look up your car, your model, and check and see what your sequence is. With ours, it is to turn the accessories on. And then we're supposed to Press the pedal down and hold it down for about 15 seconds. Then you can lift off and shut the car off. Now let's see if this fixed our problem. So we're going to start it. Okay, so let's see how much uh, travel we have in this pedal now. Now 
That sure seems a lot smoother. You can feel it start to grab. Just that little bit. You can hear the engine going. I think that's really going to help things out. So now I just need to take it out, drive it around, make sure that that fixed our problem. But it looks like it did. So that's one way to fix if your, your accelerator pedal has a dead spot in it where you press down but it doesn't do anything and then all of a sudden it wants to accelerate really fast, it's probably your accelerator pedal. So I hope that helped you guys out and wait for some more how-tos from OSR Garage.